Can we really turn a plastic bag into fishing line? Well, if we cut the bag into strips, so we have a long, thinner strip, if I pull it very quickly, it breaks very easily. But if I pull it very, very slowly, you can see it starts to stretch. Now, if I now twist it, and as I twist it, I pull, and I keep twisting and pulling, and keep twisting and pulling, what you'll actually see, eventually I get something which is actually very strong and it is actually how we make fishing line. Now this fishing line could be used on its own or you can actually weave it together uh, or to make netting in order to catch fish. So how can we go from something which is very weak to something which is very strong? What's actually happening here? Well, if we look at it on a molecular level, um, we're talking about polymers here, and so we have very long chain molecules which are fairly randomly aligned uh, in quite a thin section um, of the plastic. So when we pull it, effectively, those bonds are quite easily broken. Now, if we can increase the uh, number of bonds together and how close they are together, um, then we can actually make it stronger. And by, you can see, by as, as we pull it, those molecules will start aligning. And the next thing we do is we twist. And as we twist, we're actually making those molecules all come very, very close together. Lots of new bonds are being formed, and, and that makes it very strong.